y'all, getting old ain't for sissies. I'm telling you. And uh, what I mean by that is, well, it was uh, specifically for me, it was a few years ago that I realized I had to start wearing readers. You know, the little glasses you buy for like 10 bucks at the drugstore that does a little magnification so you can read your phone and small text. Man, and that, you know, that really, that was, that really sucked. That's just a sign that, you know, you're getting some age on you. However, like I said, getting old ain't for, ain't for, ain't for, ain't for sissies. And like my doctor always told me, it's better to be seen than viewed. So I'm going with getting older. However, you know, the readers were not a problem. I just carried them with me. And if I had to do something with them, you know, up close, looking at my phone or whatever, I just, you pop them on and you're, you're good. But one of the problems that arose with that not being able to see fine print up close, especially if it's dark, is when I was shooting. If it was an indoor range or if it was heavy overcast and kind of dark outside, the front sight, especially if it was just like a plain black front sight, would be kind of, kind of fuzzy. Now, fortunately, a lot of the pistols I've got, like the Stan Weston Specialist, it's got a really nice white front sight dot on it that allowed me to still focus well enough to get a really good sight picture. And that worked fine. If it was really bright outside, it really wasn't a big deal. But it, it all kind of came to a head. Uh, it was, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago, I was, I was given a class. I was uh, one instructor helping out in an in a introduction defensive handgun class. And I was showing some of the uh, some of the students there a couple techniques. And I drew my pistol and I got it out in front of me. And it was an indoor range and it was kind of dark. And look, y'all, I'm gonna tell you what, that front sight was fuzzy. It was like, damn, Chewbacca was standing on the end of my pistol. I mean, I was like, you know, damn. I was still, you know, with that, I was focusing on what I could make of that white dot on that specialist. And I was able to still, you know, make the gun work, so to speak. But I knew right then, hey, this is gonna be a problem. And you know, your daggum readers, you you shouldn't shoot with those on. And uh, with that said, I told you that to tell you this. I got a couple of different people that I work with and I do reviews and this sort of thing. And you know, I, uh, uh, I got an email from one of the guys that I do reviews for and he represents a couple of manufacturers. And he kind of emails him one day, he goes, hey Hunter, you want to do a review on shooting glasses? And I was like, no. Not really. I mean, they're, they're shooting glasses. That's not sexy. What's to say about them? And he's like, well, you know, hear me out. These shooting glasses have a magnification built into them. Go on. And so uh, he's like, there's a company called SSP Eyewear. Okay. And they make a plethora of different kind of shooting glasses. All kind of different shooting glasses. However, they also make a shooting glasses with a magnifier in it. It's either gonna be in the top, like third or bottom third of the lens. And it's a, it's whatever your reading glass magnification is. Mine was 1.25, so I was like, yeah, I, I run uh, 1.25. He said, well, I, I'll send you out some and, and you, you try them out, run them in some of your reviews, you know, use them in a couple matches or classes or whatever. I mean, they're straight up real safety glasses. They just fortunately got a little magnifier either in the top or the bottom i was like cool all right you know this this is pretty cool you know where's this been for the past couple years that i've been struggling and uh, they did they showed up and what, what i got was this pair amber lenses top top third is a 1.25 magnifier and then it also comes with smoke yellow and clear with the magnifier and you can also get them with the same same lens colors but the magnifier is now in like the bottom third half like right here where my thumb is covering up that's basically your magnifier if it's in the top it's about right there and that uh i thought that was really cool now you know if you watch their commercials on facebook they show them running over with the truck and they're almost indestructible and that's pretty cool but if you want to swap the lenses out, y'all, it's really simple. You, you, gotta, you gotta bend the frame a little bit. Just pops out of two tabs. You can see there's two little indentations there on the lens. You pick whatever color you want. You line them up. Of course, sometimes you might need your readers to line them up. You just kind of twit bend that frame and they snap right back in place. So swap them in and out, not a problem. 
you're shooting with a rifle, I know your front sight is a little further away, but it still allows you to get that magnification on the front sight of the rifle. If your rifle has an optic on it and you're running that, doesn't it affect your reticle? Because you've got so much lens that is not magnified, you can either elect to look at the reticle through the magnifier or just not, either or. And y'all, I'm gonna tell you what it made all the difference in the world to me. It got that front sight really nice and crisp, like it was 20 years ago for my eyes. So I was talking to my optometrist about this. You know, I'm like, what can I do about, you know, not being able to see fine print or my phone or what have you? And he goes, well, I mean, we, we can try to get you some contacts. That might help. That could somewhat affect your far away vision. Um, and I was talking to him about these and he said, he made the statement. He goes, well, you know, when you got readers on, everything up close is sharp, but if you look out at a distance, everything gets a little blurry. The higher the magnification of the reader, the more blur you're gonna get at a distance. And his question to me was, well, your front target, your, your, your target is gonna be a little blurry. I'm like, but doc, when you're shooting, the human eye can only focus on one thing at a time anyway. So whether you got glasses on or not, if you're shooting and you're focused on that front sight, your target's gonna be blurry anyway. So the glasses really don't, make any difference on that so i mean i don't i don't really know what to say there's i think this is awesome um msrp i think is like 130 bucks for for you know straight up real safety glasses maybe some of y'all gonna say that that's a little bit expensive but when I mean, you get multiple pairs of glasses with one frame with that magnification and they've got all kind of different magnifications so if you wear a stronger reader or one fives or one seven fives or twos or whatever you know, you can get that magnification. Now, after running them, I chose to run both lenses with the top magnification. Uh, that's how I felt when I'm running the gun. I've kind of got my head down, tucked a little bit, looking at front sight. Uh, if you have a different technique, you know, you may elect to run the bottom bifocals. But I'll tell you this, you know, those daggum $10 readers that you buy at, at the drugstore, they're gonna last probably a few months if you're lucky. And they're going to break or they're going to get scratched or something because they're I've, I've gone through you know a dozen pair trying to trying to keep a good pair i've been cheating y'all i've been using these as readers you know i'll pop the bottom these clear lenses in with a bottom magnifier and i use those as readers and what well, they ain't tore up i mean they're they're daggum safety glasses and so I've been using those as readers, and then when it's range time, it's just an easy swap around to put in whatever, you know, lens you want. If it's super bright, you've got some diffusion here, or, you know, I'm not going to go through all that. Everybody understands what different colors lenses are for, to be sure. But I thought it was really cool. I was really pleased with them. They work well. They made a huge difference for me in shooting handguns and did not deter from me for shooting rifles or any of that sort of stuff. So... Y'all, as always, there's going to be an article on rangehot.com with some more photos, a lot more technical information, that sort of thing about these. This is just a video overview, so if you've got any questions past that, I'm going to link to the article in the description below. Just jump over there and check that out. Uh, and, and I'll also link to the SSP Eyewear website where you can see these, or if you're in the market for some new safety glasses, like I say, they make a bunch of different kinds that look to be pretty top quality. If they're anything like these, I think they're, they're, they're on point. So... Uh, if you got any questions or comments or criticisms, reach out to me. You can find us on social media. You can find us on Parlor, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, the whole nine yards. Or shoot me an email. Comment below. If you like the video, subscribe to YouTube, the channel. That would be cool if you would. Check out rangehot.com. We always kind of got stuff going on. So anyway, y'all, that's about all I got. Really digging the SSP eyewear safety glasses with a magnifier in it. If, you, if you're like me, you got a little age on you. And that front sight's getting a little blurry. Now we got an option, so check that out. Anyway, look here, y'all. You take care of yourselves and each other. Look forward to seeing you at the range.